It's been a beautiful early spring week up here in the High Felt in Johannesburg, South Africa. And this is my first Myrtle's rant in a long time. So much has been going on uh, personally with our team in the cannabis world. We've been, as always, like super busy. But it's really nice to get back to uh, doing myself a little rant. And what precipitated this was a headline that we woke up to yesterday morning. I believe that it first appeared in the newsreels on Monday. Cape Man is sentenced for a Dacher lab in his house. Now, what? I think everybody just went, what? So this is just a little note to all of those people that we hear saying, but it's legal now, but it's legal now. Somebody was actually sentenced, convicted in the Belleville Magistrates Court for having 35 plants in his home. Now, we all know that plant counting is a really big problem. Some people might say, oh, 35 plants, that sounds like a lot, but 35 plants is certainly not enough for me for a whole year. There's all sorts of factors that have to come into this. And this is absolutely against our constitution because we were granted the right to cultivate cannabis with no limits five years ago. The law says that within the 24 months after that judgment was passed, if parliament had not uh, rectified the defects in the law, the constitutional court judgment would be written into law. So that's how it stands right now. Now in June we spent five days at the Pakisa. I was at Drug Policy Week with some other members of our team just week before last. That was incredibly enlightening. The big issues. Um, things are going on all the time and this poor man who for whatever reason only known to him didn't find Fields of Green for All didn't find us for advice, didn't speak to a cannabis-friendly lawyer, and was sentenced. And what about that Belleville magistrate? Has he not read the constitutional court judgment? Our experience up until now has been that most of these cases get dismissed in the magistrate's courts. So what's going on in Belleville? We just don't know. But all that I do know, and I can assure you, that if you are arrested, harassed, tried to be bribed or anything by the South African Police Service, or if it's already happened to you and you're in court, then please get hold of us because that's what we're here for, is to provide you with the most up-to-date advice and, and information. And that's what Fields of Green for All is all about. And we're sorry that the man from Balbo didn't get hold of us. And we're sorry that we really, really lack resources to to get our information to all corners of, of the country, but we do try. And we thank those people who, who support us. And we urge you, it's only 49 Rand a month to join the Green Network. And that can really help somebody in distress. We have our 24-hour Victims to Support Helpline, mail, manned by the awesome Charles, who is incredibly patient, incredibly empathetic, and has all the answers on his fingertips should you be in this distressful situation. And for those of you who think the cannabis is legal, hello Durban, I'm pointing a finger at you Durban, all the hundreds of pot shops all over Durban who thinks it's legal. We actually have the theory that all of these people who think it's legal are just paying the cops because that's something easier to do. But people with integrity in the cannabis industry don't pay the cops. So that's the end of my rant for today. Fields of Green for All is here for you. Our Stop the Cops program has been running since 2013. Know your rights. Get hold of us. Be part of the proactive cannabis community. Thanks for listening. Unleash the plant for everybody. Not hemp, not medicine. Dacha, dacha, dacha. All of it.